AI is revolutioning corporate finance and it's happening faster than you think. If you are a CFO, a FP&A professional, an accountant or any other finance professional, then what I'm about to share with you in this video can literally transform how you work. The way we handle financial data, create reports and make decisions is undergoing a massive transformation. And let's be honest, if we are not adapting, you are at risk of being left behind or worse, replaced. But here's the thing, it's not about AI taking your job, it's about you leveraging AI to become irreplaceable. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I will reveal the strategies that have helped dozens of other finance professionals just like you gain an edge compared to their colleagues, save hours each day and become irreplaceable. This isn't some vague theoretical discussion. I'm talking practical hands-on techniques that you can start using today to secure your position and accelerate your career in corporate finance. However, if you don't have the focus to watch an entire YouTube video like this, even though your career can depend on it, then you should just click away now as this video is probably not for you. You're still here? Now let's get into it. How is AI revolutionizing finance? We think that AI is new, but actually finance has been using AI since a long time. If you look at the accounts payable, the process of digitalizing the invoices and recognizing what are inside invoicing, that was actually already using AI through a term called OCR. But the problem is that after that, people needed to do a rule to come into the invoice and explaining where to map the information. Now, you don't need people to explain the system where to book the invoice because with NLP, natural language programming, this is actually recognized by AI based on the field on the invoice where to book the invoice. So all of the processes that needs a lot of time for the accounting teams, you are going to get the help of AI to read the document to recognize where to book it, either if it's an invoice, either if it's an order, either if it's a receipt or travel expenses. And then the booking is done in the system. And most probably the booking will be more accurate because there is no human errors. And secondly, it will be much faster. Another way that AI is going to help us is how to identify anomalies. Imagine an accounting team having to process hundreds and hundreds of travel expenses and to make sure that the travel expenses and the reimbursement respect the company policies. It's impossible to not make mistakes. But if you delegate that to an AI program that knows the rule, then this program can run through all of the receipts and flag all of the wrong receipts or the fraudulent receipts. Another part where AI is going to help finance more and more. It's actually what CFOs want the most is a better forecasting. Why? Because machine learning can learn from the past and predict the future. And machine learning, the difference with us is that machine learning can process much more data and link data that are from different systems that is unstructured, structure the data, and then make some propositions on the forecasting. So machine learning will use some algorithms like linear regressions or PCA or Profit or Sarima that will identify trends and correlations in the data to plan the future and help finance teams and management to make more sense of the historical data to have a more accurate forecast. And most probably, once it's working and once you have the algorithm in place, a faster way of forecasting. And then the third way finance can help is really on how to make financial reporting and analyze data. Because you will see that AI will bring a more automated insight because you can read the data with AI and make graphs from it and identify some patterns. From this pattern, then AI can write a mini summary or prepare some graphs. You have seen it already in Copilot or in ChatGPT. And this will help the finance team spend less time in producing these reports, but more time analyzing and 
recommend actions to improve the results. Before I continue with the video, I wanted to remind you that if you are a finance professional and if you are serious about your career, then make sure to subscribe to my channel as I have a bunch of valuable videos coming in the next weeks about how to incorporate AI into your work and become irreplaceable. So what is the risk? for you of not adapting to AI. First, AI is not going to go away. You will see that AI is going to come more and more in all of our tools, either speaking to AI to after let run your program with natural language programming or through forecasting, having your AI algorithm do the forecasting for you, which means that you need really to understand how AI works to make the best use of it. Imagine 39 years ago when Excel was there. And imagine if you bet against Excel. Well, do you think today you will still have a job in finance? Probably not. So with AI, it's the same. It's there, it's going to stay, it's going to be even more present in our jobs, in our tools, and it's going to help us more. So again, like Excel, if you can use AI better than your peers, if AI makes you work faster. Don't you think you should embrace it to have a better career, to go home earlier? I have trained many people on this and I can tell you that the people who got trained have now a better future, got promotions, spend much more time doing human tasks like speaking to the business, talking to management to recommend actions, and also understanding what is not really readable through data rather than doing robotic tasks like long Excel or booking a lot of journal entries. I've seen a lot of finance professionals trying to learn AI in their own way. And often they don't know where to look for the information. They don't know what is good, what is not good. They don't know really where to start, but it doesn't have to be that way. But what is the right way to learn AI and to leverage it for your career in finance? First, you need to learn how to use generative AI. So for this, learn my framework, the CSI and FBI. CSI stands for context. So you will give the context. For example, if you want to issue a dunning letter to a client and you want your AI tool to draft it for you, then start by giving the context, meaning I am an accountant. Then the S of CSI is to be specific. My client didn't pay me since two months. Then the I of CSI is the instruction. Please draft a reminder letter for this client. So if you will stop there, it will be okay. The output will be already much more valuable than if you have to do it by yourself or if you look for templates online. Now, imagine this client never pays on time. You need to tell to your AI assistant that you want to be harder. And for this, we are going to bring a second team. So after CSI, we bring the FBI. You use the F for format. You can say that either you want a script to call your client or you want a formal letter or an email or in other contexts, you can ask for tables, you can ask for a checklist, you can ask for slides. And then the B of the FBI is the most important, is blueprint. With blueprint, you are going to tell what you want to have inside the output. And for example, here you can say you want words like legal actions and you want that the communication is hard. And then I of the FBI is for identity. You can ask your AI to act as a lawyer. Like this, you know that the writing would be much better than an accountant. So that's the first part, CSI, FBI. The second part is to understand the AI tools that exist there and which one you could use already today. For this, I recommend to download my top AI finance tools and you will see the link in the description. And third, I really encourage you to learn Python but not learning it like we'll have learned the old way with spending years learning data science and programming. No, now you don't need to program anymore because AI is going to program for you. If you ask ChatGPT to do the code for you for Python, then it will write the code for you. So what you can do is learn what Python can do and then use ChatGPT to code for you and to create, for example, a Python script to do forecasting with AI. And we have actually a course with Christian Martinez where we teach that in just four hours and it's amazing to see how fast people learn and how the world opens when they see that in just 15 minutes they can use AI and Python. And then after that, we show them everything you can do with Python, like financial analysis, complex graphics that don't exist in Excel, changing files. Imagine combining one files in just a few seconds. Python can do that and the code is really small, but is on top made by ChatGPT. And the last part that Python can help is forecasting. These are the three 
recommendation, learn prompt engineering, learn which AI finance tool will fit your business, and third, use Python and AI together. Remember, the key is not to fear AI, but to embrace it as a tool that can supercharge your career. So now you have two choices. First, you can try to figure all this out on your own, spending countless hours and potentially making costly mistakes. Or second, you can be part of the top 1% users by downloading my free ChatGPT user guide made for finance professionals like you. This PDF lists frameworks that you can start implementing right away. To get your hands on this cheat sheet absolutely free, click the first link in the description below. And if you are serious about becoming irreplaceable and incorporating AI into your work, then this is really non-negotiable. So again, click that first link and get your free ChatGPT user guide PDF. If this video was valuable to you, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.